In the mid-1960s, BAC and Sud Aviation merged their supersonic transport projects into one. After this merger, it became very clear that the project of such a high-speed transport was serious, and it wasn't something light-hearted as it had originally been thought. Now, to the surprise of many people, Concorde was announced in November of 1962. The national pride of the countries involved in the project soared, and many nations around the world believed that supersonic flight was the way of the future and that the Europeans had a massive head start. Now, three days later, the head of the FAA wrote a letter to John F. Kennedy saying that the US would lose over 50,000 jobs and billions of dollars as American carriers turned to the Europeans for the new plane if the US did not start their own SST program. So henceforth, the American SST program was born. Now, JFK awarded $100 million to the SST program Yet it's believed that this would not have passed had Pan Am not announced their decision to place an order for the Concorde. Now Boeing began work designing an airframe alongside Lockheed and North American. Now Boeing's decision was massive, using large swing wings, something that was never seen before on passenger planes. However, the weight of the folding mechanism resulted in the return of the normal delta shape. Now in 1964, preliminary designs were submitted to the FAA followed by hundreds of orders by carriers, even though no design was confirmed. The design for Boeing suggested that a plane could seat up to 300 passengers, nearly three times that of Concorde, while flying at Mach 2.7. This would have made a New York to London flight a mere 1 hour and 30 minutes, compared to Concorde's 2 to 3 hour flight time. But unfortunately, due to the budget overruns and wasted time, the US Congress voted to cut funding. Following this were regulations to stop the SSTs flying over the US due to the loud sonic booms created by the aircraft flying at such high speeds. Dreams of short coast-to-coast -coast travel were laid to rest as jet aircraft took back over the newly freed market. As the project lost government contracts and the downturn in civilian aviation mounted pressure, Boeing laid off 60,000 employees, formally ending the Boeing 7207 SST program in 1971. Years later, following the September 11 attacks, the Airbus company, now a consortium of the BAC and the Sud Aviation, seized maintenance on the works of Concorde in the fleets of British Airways and Air France. As the airframes of the planes were the oldest in their respective fleets, the cost rose considerably, so Concorde was officially retired in 2003, ending public supersonic transport after decades of flight.